purposes, putting him on trial in The Hague, etc., essentially will start undermining democratic leaders altogether. Um, will pose a threat to leaders who then always have to then consider when they... Rabbi, really it will just mean that he will be held to account. account. What but let me, let me extend this one step further. To hold him to account and him to go down in the annals of history as being somebody who mistakenly went into war and cost people like your own son their lives is ultimately in itself punishment so enough. History is his courtroom. History will ultimately be his courtroom. But you've got to ask me someone else. I don't want to wait that long. No, no. Um, but hang on, he got rid of the general. David Cameron still has the boys out there, and there are still boys being killed every day. And so such point as he pulls them out, maybe he should be held to a court now as well. Here, I have the difference is One second, Kenny. What, what, what do you want? Afghanistan was backed by the UN. Iraq was not. not. He went against international law. He didn't follow the UN. The majority vote in the UN was not for armed force. Blair went with the minority. And that is a going against the UN. It is a crime. Absolutely. And international law is very clear. And it has it's to an act of unprovoked aggression against a nation Revolution that cannot 14, protect itself. 1441 did not authorize military force. And on that basis, every world leader of any democratic country that will have sent boys in as part of any kind of coalition to that war Not if it's lawful. should have to that particular war should be held to account and put them all on trial together. Uh, Ken and Malik, what, what about the situation of if you read the Geneva Convention uh, it, Geneva Conventions, this was not was it willful this? Was it wanton what he did? Was his intent not to get rid of a genocidal dictator? Should that legally come into account if it comes to it? I oppose the Iraq war. Um, I, I oppose most of uh, Tony Blair's wars. I'm as sure as I can be that he lied to Parliament, lied to the public, but I do think it's ludicrous the idea that he should be uh, arraigned on war crimes. It seems to me if war crimes has any meaning at all, it has to be for the gravest of, uh, 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 of, of actions, uh, genocide, torture, carpet bombing. What, what something like this does is it cheapens the very notion of war crimes and of the horrors of war. It's also, I think, very well, dangerous. In a, war, it's, also very, it's also very dangerous. In a, it's also very dangerous in a, in, in a, for a democratic process because what we're doing is using what's happened is that Fallujah was political, wiped out. political and moral questions, political and moral debates, mm -hmm. have been turned into narrow technical legal ones, and that seems to me a real problem, and it undermines. Diminishes no democracy. Wait a minute, Rich. Eric Herring, you're a legal expert. You did research for the UN at the time of the Gulf War. Is there, is, do you really think there's a case to answer here for Tony Blair? I think there's a case to answer because uh, the former Lord Chief Justice says the war was Ill illegal. The UN Secretary General said the war was illegal. The Chief Legal Officer at the Foreign Office said the war was illegal. The Deputy Chief uh, says it was illegal. You can see a huge long, long, list, uh, long list of international lawyers who think the war was illegal. And, and why it matters is that. The international crime of aggression really matters. You compare, you said it could, uh, comparison with torture, but international crimes of aggression produce widespread chaos and license the aggression of others. And he made the case for this war on the basis that Iraq and WMD might hand them over to terrorists. Now that's bizarre and incredibly unlikely. And if you take that paranoid style and apply it to world politics, everyone is entitled to evade, invade everyone else, even though we have no evidence, just in case. <laughs> Last price.